Hello again viewers, a very warm welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so already, please remember to hit both the like and subscribe buttons. Also remember to turn on notifications, that'll let you know as soon as we bring you a new video. So I've decided to teach you a mushroom for two simple reasons. Number one, they're incredibly simple to make, they're just ideal for beginners. And number two, I still get a lot of enjoyment from making the little fellas. If you are foraging for your wood, there's a couple of things to be aware of. Number one is rot. Rot can snap unexpectedly when you apply pressure to it, so you imagine as soon as you put your knife to it, it could just snap and off with your finger or you can nearly finish your project and then it's gone, I've made that mistake. For the same reason, I avoid woodworm. If you do choose to take your creation home, then the woodworm will end up in all your wooden furniture, it'll end up in your roof, it'll be game over. So avoid woodworm at all costs. To get started, I only recommend you need two things. So number one is a good pair of cut-proof gloves. There are lots like this out there on Amazon but make sure they've got the official cut proof mark in the description. And number two, a decent knife. Now I am gonna pop down in the description below, please have a look, but there are quite stringent laws on legal carries. So have a look at that. But for now, let's get to some whittling. So, to start out with our stick, you just wanna make sure you clean it up a bit first. Just take off any of the loose mossy debris or maybe keep it if you want to use that on the cap just make sure there's no awkward branches trying to grow out of the piece you want to be working on still just taking a bit of this off I'm gonna leave some of this this on though just because I think that could look cool around the base so You've got your stick cleaned up how you want it. Great. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is mark where I want the cap of this little fungi to go. So I'm gonna take my blade, dig it in at a slight angle so it's facing away from you. So if it does slip, it's slipping away, not towards you. And then I'm just going to dig that in, slowly rotate round, just where I want the base of this cap to be. So I'm probably going to shave a bit off the top there, if you can see it. So next we're going to put in our stop cut on this line where we marked where we want the cap of our mushroom to begin so what the stop cut does is you're digging in a straight line creating a hard edge a slice and then what you're going to do is shave up the wood to where that slice is and then this enables us to carefully slice up and stop neatly if you do want to go deeper, you just simply repeat the process. So we go again, put in shave up to that. And then you want to do this all the way round. So again, stop cut up to it, up to it, again we go round, push it in, shave up, shave up. Now you can see why I like to wear gloves, purely you can afford to be a bit sloppier. I've gouged my hands countless times and it can be a little impractical to carry a pair of gloves, but it's a damn sight better than having to rush off to A&E. So again with the stop cut, just remember, press the blade in, 
and then slice up to it. You're just shaving away, always shaving away from yourself. Again, any debris that's going to fly off, it's not going to come at you. Worst case, the blade slips and it's not going to come at your face. Unless you're into that sort of thing. So now you can see it's actually starting to take shape. You might be tempted to flip it over and start shaving away at the bottom, but don't just yet keep it because you might need that bit of extra width later on for stability if you want to stand it up. Now we're going to start working on the cap. There's two ways of doing this. If you want a pointy mushroom, then you want to be shaving it out like towards a point. If you want a rounder mushroom, then obviously you want to be cutting diagonally along this line. So make your choice. Don't stress about it too much. The beauty of these is that everyone comes out slightly different. They've all got their own little bit of character. So I wanted another little hobby and whittling ticks all the boxes for me. You can do it outdoors, it's quiet, it keeps me focused. It can be a really calming and therape therapeutic little activity. And I started off, like I say, with mushrooms and before I knew it, I was carving giant pirates, carving giant vikings. Now again, you should never <laughs> cut towards you, but I've got particularly large hands and this is a particularly small mushroom. Obviously the smaller these are, the fiddlier, the fiddlier they get. So if you do want to start out, perhaps use something point proven, bigger. Trying to even out the rough top, but that's okay. Don't be afraid to get creative with them. Like I say, every single one of these little fellas always comes out different. It's just a nice little time killer, perhaps you sat somewhere camping, perhaps you don't want to take a book, but this was actually one of my favourite things to make, again it's just brilliant, it's simple, ideal for beginners. And it can take a minute, it can take five minutes, you can spread it out over a couple of days if you wanted. Just keep working away at him. Keep whittling away. I was inspired by the romantic ideology of like the historic soldiers who would sit around the campfire whittling the exciting things they'd seen that day making gifts for their children and back in medieval times and earlier everyone carried a knife you didn't have cutlery you had your knife you used your hands everyone carried a knife like everyone in an office carries a pen it's your tool it's something you use for everything not only that it's a brilliant little peaceful mindfulness hobby because I'm sat here and I'm concentrating on this one little item. Everything else melts away. As we'd said before, this base here, not to shave that off yet, once you get an idea of the size of the cap, the length of it, then you can start cutting away if you want. Or perhaps you just want a completely skinny base. So again with the cap, you want to be shaving it down 
to a point. And then if you see any of the hard square edges come up, just cut the other way. Cut along that edge again. Just little nooks, just enough to take that squareness away. The bottom edge, like I was saying earlier, if you want it to stand flat, you may have to just keep shaving it. Find a hard flat surface, pop it down somewhere, see if it stands. If it doesn't, again, just gradually shave a bit off of whatever end you think is the offending side to get it to stand straight. Just be patient. Remember, you can always take more off, but you certainly can't just pop it back on. So there we have it. Beautiful, simple little mushroom. Again, get creative with it. Put whatever detail you want in there. You can put your gills underneath the cap. Get creative with a stem and try different woods. They all look different, they all have different effects. Each has its own bit of character. So sometimes I take my little creations home with me, but this little fellow already seems quite at home in the woods, so he's going to stay right here. So I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today, folks. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. We've also got an Instagram thing going on. Uh, say hi in the comments down below post your suggestions if there's anything you want to learn to carve whack it in the comments down below until then stay safe bye